As you can probably tell from the title of this video, we have a big announcement. We're having a baby! Yes. <laughs> There is a beautiful little baby inside of <laughs> Carrie's belly right now, and we're 20 weeks? You're 20 weeks? 20 weeks and two days today. Which is just <laughs> over halfway. We're halfway, yep. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. I can believe it, <laughs> but I can't believe it because the first trimester went by real slow, and then the second trimester has just been flying by. So being halfway is pretty crazy, but we just went to our 20 week scan two days ago, which was so incredible. The whole time Alex and I were just going, wow. Like, can you cool. believe that there's a human being inside of you? And like a spine. But I think we should reverse and rewind a little Rain. bit. Let's bring it back. <laughs> Let's bring it back to 12 weeks? Yeah, well, maybe we should talk about what everybody might be wondering, yeah. which is, are we having a daughter or a son? I know, so <laughs> we're gonna have to rewind and play this clip. So Alex and Carrie envelope that our midwife put together for us and inside. We will find out if we are having a son or a daughter. Okay, but you have to, you can do we the have honors. to see it at the same time. You can do the honors. It's all taped up. Oh wow, There's she like really made sure that there was no sneaky peeks. Yeah. <laughs> wow, there's like six pieces of tape. This is like <laughs> the most, I, this is. Um, <laughs> the most anticipation. I've had a long time, yeah. I wonder if she gave us like, just a piece of paper that says what it is, or if she gave us like the results. I don't know what it is. Open I saw it, open it, open it, open it, I do too, go, just open it, just open it. <laughs> go. What is it? I knew it. Did you have a dream? It. My dream. I knew it. Yeah. My dream. I knew it. We're having a little girl. <laughs> a little girl. Lucky you are having a girl. <laughs> this is going to be so cute. A girl dad. I knew you were going to be a girl dad. I knew it. Oh my gosh. We're having a baby girl. <laughs> I'm so excited to be a girl dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's funny is I used to tell you, when we would talk about having kids, I used to say, I feel like you're going to be a girl dad. And here we are. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Um, my family, you know, I have myself and my brother. And then um, I have girl cousins, all of whom are awesome and I love. <laughs> but never had any sisters and Me neither. you know, I'm sure that our family is excited to bring some more feminine energy into the mix. Yeah. So I'm sure the viewers probably want to know how you've been feeling. Can you talk a little bit about your <laughs> experience during the early stages of the pregnancy? Yeah. I thought that I would be one of those pregnant people that didn't get nauseous. I won't throw up. <laughs> that was not the case. No. It was constant nausea. There was a lot of regurgitation. regurgitation going on. A lot of not really even being able to get out of bed because my smell was so enhanced. Yeah. Um, I felt like I had superhuman smell and I could I could smell everything cooking and garlic. I started getting aversions, aversions mm. to the smell of garlic or like olive oil on a pan, meat being cooked. All of the best smells were 
instantly the worst. <laughs> Alex was amazing and is still this for us right now and just making sure that he's like cooking for us and this was the time where I just really said to myself like I am so glad he cooks <laughs> because um, he just stepped up in that way and you've been bringing me breakfast in bed ever since the beginning of the pregnancy because healthy stuff healthy stuff in the morning and and um, it's been wonderful because I get really hungry in the morning and in the first trimester if I didn't eat right away that's when the nausea would hit and that's when I would what about bananas bananas have been my saving grace <laughs> they have been like a, she's like a chimpanzee <laughs> she's a monkey they swinging through have... the jungle bananas everywhere <laughs> Later on, I read that they're really good for nausea, so that makes sense. And they're just a healthy snack that you can just open right there and leave on your bedside and have in the morning or in the middle of the night, which I was eating. <laughs> Alex would wake up and at like 2 a.m. I'd be like chomping down on something, whether it there was There were like, like three quarter eaten bananas <laughs> all over the house. It was like Donkey Kong. You had to like make sure you didn't slip on a banana peel because they were everywhere. They were all sorts of things. Crackers also, I, you know. Yeah, her bedside table, <laughs> was just littered with like the remnants of snacks <laughs> yes. to the point where our dog got very interested in what was happening yeah. on, on her bedside, bedside table. table. And to this day, he still goes up to the bedside table. It's like, what kind of snacks do we have going on yeah, here? Because definitely. I never had snacks on the bedside table before, but now no. he's like, that's snack central. And because of those snacks on her bedside table, he got interested in my bedside table <laughs> yeah. and proceeded to eat my night guard. <laughs> so, you know. There you go. In which he has never, never eaten anything. anything. He's never like chewed that. a shoe. No. Never. No. Nope. And he hasn't. No, he's been really good with like not eating things that he's not supposed ever. to. But you know, hey. Um, <laughs> there was there was throw up. Um, it was slightly comical actually at times. <laughs> In a, in a little bit of like schadenfreude. I did have moments just of tears, but also laughter we, at the well, same time. You would have like a strike of nausea <laughs> and like in the middle of something super random, just be like, oh, oh, you know, kind of vomit <laughs> in her mouth a little bit and then swallow it down and then we would look at each other and just laugh because it was yeah. like so random. I was editing one of my YouTube videos and I was just like, hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and nobody knew I was pregnant, but I was just like <laughs> gagging to get any words out. And I was like, this is so hard. <laughs> but the good news is it wasn't right when the second trimester hit. It was like a little bit into the second trimester. A lot of people were like, as soon as the second trimester comes around, you won't be nauseous anymore. That wasn't the case for me. It continued on a little bit, but then one day I was like- She woke up and there was no nausea. I think I'm okay now. And then from that point on, it's been like more energy, little by little. I still get really tired and out of breath, but we're so grateful. Yeah, super <laughs> that, grateful. That's just like the, you know, the part of pregnancy that you don't really know how it feels until you're in it. Yeah. And then your partner is experiencing it because they're like, what's going on with you? But it's um, been a beautiful journey and really it really hit me the most at our 20 week scan the other day because you could just see the baby and her lips and nose and we got to see all the different you know parts of her body up close spine and, and her legs that was when feet. she really started looking like a full human being which it's pretty amazing was really cool to see yeah. Some of you may be wondering whether or not we'll be having the baby here in New Zealand or in the United States. The baby will be born here in New Zealand. Uh, if you didn't already know, I've said it a lot, but I'm a dual citizen of New Zealand and the United States, but I was born in the USA. The baby will be born here in New Zealand and therefore will be a citizen of New Zealand and the United States. And that was always in the plan for this chapter yeah. of life. And Alex having dual citizenship of New Zealand and the US really opened up his eyes to the world being bigger than just the US. And same thing for me with my mom being Italian and being born in Venezuela. And that was something that was, 
I think really, it was instilled in us from a very young age that the world is it's huge big. and yeah. there's a lot of different cultures and um, your dual citizenship I think has been really beneficial for you throughout your life. And Yeah, yeah. and it's something that I wanted to give to our children. So mm -hmm. that's always been part of the plan with the move down here to New Zealand and it feels good to like be making making good on that. And the plus is New Zealand has a beautiful maternity care system in place where you have a midwife all the way through the beginning of your pregnancy to postpartum. You are still seen with house visits after you give birth to the baby and um, they come to your house and help you with breastfeeding and check on the baby and mom after the baby's born and it's just from beginning to end you're with the same midwife throughout the whole process and so far we've been really loving the process and it's been it's been wonderful yeah and if you want to learn more about that and the rest of kind of the the details of the pregnancy and the plan etc then you can go over to carrie's channel you can check out the video on her channel subscribe to her channel because she'll be sharing more of that type of content. Speaking of that, should forward. we take a look at the baby bump? Yes. <laughs> this is what we're working with. <laughs> it's growing every day. Yeah, it's really popped recently. She's kicking and moving. We've felt her in there before quite a lot. Yeah. With more frequency, you I've know, been recently. Feeling a lot of movement. Just little kicks cuz she's still size of a head of lettuce, right? Yeah. Which is actually kind of Feels kind of big. <laughs> Depends on what type of lettuce. But anyways. She's growing every week and it's a really exciting process. And look who's just come in. Got Lanka here. What Whoa. do you think, our, my friend? He's Yours? been Carrie's number one snuggle buddy. Oh, he's been everything. Throughout the early stages of the pregnancy. And he's still going to be the only little oh, boy. He's, he's a good dog. <laughs> okay, friends. Well. I think with that, we will wrap this up and yeah, we're really excited. We can't wait for this next chapter of life and we appreciate all of you being here on the journey with us. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.